As we look at Christ, his suffering was basically all in all dimensions. And in the physical aspect of pain, whether it be from carrying his own cross to thorns to um, nails being driven through his hands and wrists, I think you know, the, the level of pain there is, is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Crucifixion, you know, tragically was common in that era, but, but also to realize that he also suffered the pain of betrayal and, and friends' betrayal and friends leaving him. And we could even say he suffered all the aspects of, of pain. Um, and so he can relate 100% mm -hmm. to what we, where, where we're at as individuals. Julie, as we read about the pain and suffering that Christ experienced, how does that give you a greater appreciation for him and his atonement? Oh, it just humbles me to think that he suffered even for my sins. I think that's the hardest part is to think that I caused him pain and suffering. I think that hurts me the most, but it makes me grateful. It mm. makes me so grateful that he was willing to take upon me take upon him my infirmities and my illnesses, my suffering, and that I know I don't go through anything alone. That is a comfort to me. When I have something really difficult that I'm going through, to know that he has felt that and that he has felt my pain means a lot to me. It has a great comfort.